Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to make the easiest uh, one stitch, literally um, granny square that's endless. It's just pretty much one set of stitches repeat. Um, this is a baby blanket. You can make this as small or as big as you want. And then I just have this very simple border. This is just treble crochets in each stitch at the end. But I will show you the start and the end and this took me maybe less than a day combined i was crocheting a couple of hours here a couple of hours there it's just so easy you can turn on your favorite show and just forget about what you're doing and you're not gonna make a mistake all right so i'm just gonna use this four millimeter crochet hook um, i did use for that blanket afghan yarn and i used it um, double stranded but for this tutorial, I'm just gonna use a regular yarn. I think this is size four and just this um, size G crochet hook. All right, to begin, we're gonna make a slip knot. And everyone makes it differently, but this is how I make mine. I can actually show it again too. I just, how I teach my kids, I say, you just drape the scarf around the hook. You do crisscross, applesauce. Um, you drape the scarf around the neck one more time and then you pull that through, make a knot, and this is your slip knot. And then we're gonna chain four, two, three, four, we're gonna join in the first stitch, and we're gonna chain two, and then we're gonna be working into this magic ring here. And then I like to reinforce it with my tail and I'll show you how I do that. So you're gonna make a double crochet into the ring. You're gonna make another double crochet and we're going to chain two. Now we're just making our corner. So each corner is gonna have chain two in it. And we're gonna make three more double crochet into the magic ring and I'm just holding my end here as I go and we're gonna chain two again and three more double crochets two So now we have one, two corners, chain two again for a corner, and three more double crochets, one, two, three, chain two, so now we have one, two, three, this will be our last corner, and we're going to join on top of our chain to here of the beginning of the round so now you have three double crochets chain two again three double crochets chain two three chain two three and chain two these are our four corners and now i'm gonna make my tail i'm gonna pull on it i'm gonna make the ring tight so there's no hole in the in the middle here So, to, sh to hide our seam, I'm actually gonna make a slip stitch into the next stitch and make a slip stitch into that first chain two. You're gonna be doing that in the beginning of each round. You're gonna cha uh, chain two here. This equals double crochet. And make two more double crochets. And in each corner, as I mentioned, we're gonna have chain two, and we're gonna make three more double crochets into the same space. One, two, three. So this will be each corner. We're not gonna chain anything in between. Now we're moving on to this next space. You're only gonna be working into spaces. 
and again three double crochets three chain two and again three more double crochets two three not gonna chain anything else move on to the next corner one two three chain two make three more into the same space one two and three this is our third corner now we have just one more left and three double crochets three one two and three more and we're going to join on top of chain two of the beginning of the round this is not the beginning of our next round remember we're always gonna start in this corner here so slip stitch into the next one slip stitch into this corner and we're going to chain two again and for our corner if you remember we have three double crochets which we already had that chain two that so that counts as our double crochet chain two and three double crochets so now we have this new space here right and this is not our corner space what are we gonna do with this space well we're just gonna make three double crochets into that space do not chain nothing in between Oop, looks like I have a knot here oh well two and three and then you see that we have our next corner and into that corner we're making three double crochets chain two and three double crochets two and three so then again in here we're gonna make just three double crochets into the corner we're gonna make three double crochets in chain two three double crochets and then when you get to the end you're going to um put a slip stitch in on top of this chain two slip stitch slip stitch into the chain two space and you're gonna repeat this round forever and ever for as long as you want um this is just so easy it's one of my favorite granny square patterns and this is what it looks like and then you just get more spaces in between the corners more and more and more and then I'm just gonna show you how to do this um, edge here. Let's pretend as if we're at the end of our project and we got to our um, corner here. We just, we're done. We just wanna finish and make an, our edge. Chain three. This counts as our treble crochet. Yarn over twice into the space. Make your treble crochet. Make another. Oh, no, we do not. Um, actually, let me see. I believe I made. Oh, yeah, I just made two treble crochets, chain two, two treble crochets. I was confused there for a second. Um, so two, and then we're gonna chain two and make two more trebles into the same space that's gonna give you that nice corner and then in each of these spaces here in each stitch you're just going to make a treble crochet chain two oops uh, not chain two, yarn over twice. Oh, I just have a lot of knots in this yarn. And just in each one, in each stitch, 
you're gonna make a trouble and then you're just gonna repeat that all over all around your work thank you so much for watching i'll see you later